how you doing, Mike? I'm all good. Princess is asleep. <laughs> dinner we have come to the whiskey bar where they have Japanese whiskeys. So Joe Sterk you've taught me a lot about whiskeys but you didn't teach me about Japanese whiskeys so I'm about to learn. <laughs> probably four this morning and we hung out as the sun rose in our um, lounge area now we want to go get some tea don't we look great in these <laughs> little prison outfits <laughs> prison outfits <laughs> ciao
you to style. Uh -huh. yeah. May I help you make this hot pot? Yes. Sure. Thank you. Tell me about our... We have a feast in our little sitting area. We have some shabu shabu going on. When that's done, we're going to make a porridge out of rice. The rice here. We have some salmon. We have tofu salad, some pickled radishes, and then some fruit for dessert, all for breakfast. So now that we've had breakfast, a uh, hot pot, we decided to do some morning stretch. And you can see here, we're outside and we'll have some instruction. We'll have more people who will be joining us. Good morning from Arashiyama. We just got off the boat. You can see back there. It's a perfect day. Amazing day, blue skies. No humidity. And we're gonna go find some coffee because that's apparently something to look out for. And then roam around a little bit, do a little walking about, go to a tofu restaurant because okay. that's what Kyoto is known for before we head back. Hi! These are amazing high school students. Junior high? Junior high? Yes. Hi! Very, very smart. Very smart. We are climbing to some sort of observation deck. Summit. Yeah, the summit observation deck. But I'm not sure what this park is called, but it's really beautiful. Mm -hmm. And they said it's 160 meters high. All right. So we'll see, see what we, look like what we find. We found our summit observation deck. If you look closely, that is our Yokon right there. found our tofu restaurant right here. I don't know what it's called. So we were going to go to a tofu restaurant, but then they said that there is pretty much no go for... No good for like it. Yeah, so we found this other place, and it's a natural food cafe. So we'll it see what we can get. Like place you wanted to go if you knew it in the first totally. place. Totally, so. yeah. So we'll see about your your ice cream. So I fall in love with roasted green tea and they make it in an ice cream so it doesn't get any better than that. So. Try it, let me see. Mm, very, very good. I'm gonna try it. It tastes like chocolate. We may look like we're in our pajamas. Oh, but no, this but is we're not. formal wear. This is formal wear. And we are getting ready for dinner. We're having a little, oh, you wanna show me? Show these socks. Look at that, Hold complete on. with, can you get the toe oh. thing in? <laughs> they get it? Look at that, ready for the sandals. Oh, wow, yeah. that's impressive. Mm -hmm. And then we also have some wasabi peas here that we picked up in Arashiyama, Kyoto. Let's see if it's any good. Mmm. <laughs> Now that we finished dinner, we're heading to the whiskey bar. I'm bringing um, the tea That's right. that I got for our anniversary because she's tin all, is the 10 year anniversary. What do you call it? You're a the lucky woman. <laughs> That's what I call it. 
<laughs> the 10 year gift or something. All right, so when we get to or the whiskey something. bar, we will showcase a few of Scottco's faves. Ready for it? Stay tuned. Stay tuned. We just hiked from the boat dock to Sushi Iso. It's hot out, holy cow. Great. But Sushi Iso is right there. Off so the beaten path. Off the beaten path, let's see what we can get. We found Sushi Iso. This is the menu, and this is what we used. <laughs> I'm very proud of us. Somehow we managed to convey what we wanted to eat through a combination of English, bad Japanese, and pointing to pictures. And I think we're going to enjoy it. We are reading a book all about whiskeys, and I've read the chapter on Japanese whiskeys, and evidently when you go to a train station, everyone gets a highball, which is basically a Japanese whiskey with soda water. So I went here to the 7-Eleven, and sure enough, they have lots of these highballs. <laughs> Why not make your train ride a little bit better? So. We're gonna give it a shot. It's like a beer. Oh, that's refreshing. Is it good? Yeah. <laughs> Tastes like. I'll try it this time. Scott will like some whiskeys. I do not. No, that's not good. I heard that in Kyoto, you want to get Arabica coffee. So we finally found it. We went on a wild goose chase for it. But you can tell because it has a percent sign on it. And I got a single origin uh, cafe latte iced. And their milk here is really tasty. So not only is the coffee good, the milk with the coffee is delicious. Here we are in Osaka. We found some um, place where we can maybe get some Okanabi yaki. Free nightlife. And we are in the Dotonbori area of town, which apparently at night gets very lit up and beyond. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit funky. We'll see what we can find. What do you think? <laughs> Arigato! So we found this uh, little place called Chibo. I think Chibo, right? Yep. Yeah. And we've now gotten our sake. We're going to cook our kanamiyaki. I think we're cooking it. And then we got a little bit of a uh, an eggplant vegetable starter. So what do you think about that? Okay. <laughs> and we got our okonomiyaki. What are we getting? I have no idea what we're getting. We stopped at a random bar that Carrie wanted to go to. We could reserve something with God knows what. Takoyaki! I'll eat it. Takoyaki. There we go. Takoyaki. Takoyaki octopus balls. Cheers. <laughs> octopus. Sampai.
Come on then. Can you get in? I think I got it this time. There we go. <laughs> the sun is so bright. So yeah. we're recording. We just went to the Osaka Castle and we learned all about uh, the history of Osaka Castle and even the Great Summer the Great Summer War. Yeah. Yes, the Great Summer War. <laughs> struggle for power. And the struggle oh. for power. Is it, is it very interesting? Ready to go. <laughs> 